welcome back to Autism Live. We're really excited because here in the studio with us, we have a young man who's doing some pretty inspira- inspirational things. Anthony Vasquez is here with us. So nice to finally meet you. We've been talking a little bit back and forth via email. And you're 21, did you tell me? Yeah. Um, and Anthony is joining us today to talk very specifically about a school that you've been to. How long have you been at Miller Career and Transition Center? I've been at Miller for five years now. Okay. And what, so you're pretty familiar with their programs and the things that they do. Now, last spring, we had we went and did a tour of Miller. Um, and for those of you uh, who didn't have an opportunity to see that, um, <clears throat> it's, it's a really an amazing program. What age do people usually start at Miller? Do you know? Yeah, 18. 18. Okay. And what, is, what, what happens at Miller? Talk to us about <clears throat> what, what the experience is like at Miller Career and Transition? Well, I would tell you that as far as I know, um, the new interns, when they graduate from high school, they start with summer school and and then their first year of Miller. Okay. Four weeks long. Four weeks long. Okay. And you do a lot of different things at Miller. Let's talk about some of the programs that, like, what what did you do at Miller during your time there? Yes. um, Starting... I, I want to start with my first summer school. My first okay. summer, my first summer school, I had the landscaping program uh-huh. with teacher Brian Anderson. Uh huh. And did you like landscaping? I did. We, I have a friend who just started at Miller and and was put into the landscaping program. I don't know if she's loving landscaping, but the great thing about Miller is that you try something and then you get to try something else, right? So what else during your time? What other programs did you do besides landscaping at Miller? <clears throat> well, I can start with my first year at Miller. Okay. Um, I, I took the auto detailing program, which is the car washing c- class. Yes. I bet you learned a lot of cool tricks in the auto detailing. Uh, did you, like, how, do you, how did you learn to clean in those little itty-bitty crevices that they get when they do so well in detailing? Is there a special tool for that? Um, well, I can say that we have an orbital buffer. Oh, okay. So it's these secret tools. Uh, and, and people should know if you're in the Los Angeles area, they can make an appointment to bring their car in to be detailed uh, at one of the transition centers like Miller. It's so affordable. And I hear you guys do a really fabulous job. Did you like the auto detailing program? I did. I bet you were good at it. I loved it. Okay. That's cool. And so then after you did the auto, auto detailing, what did you go on to? My second year, I went into the f- construction program. Okay, construction. So, what were you building? I, I was building, I was, I was building you know, planter boxes. Ah, okay. And uh, then, do you guys sell the planter boxes? Uh, yes, we we sell them for someone who wants to get one from Miller to take it to their homes. Wow. And so, at that point, so now at this point, you've done landscaping, you've done the auto detailing, and you've done the construction. Which of those three did you like the best? The auto detailing program. Okay. So what did you go on to after construction? Um, after construction, I went on to the food services class, my third year Miller, which, okay. is, which is called Cafe Miller. Okay. Now, is that the same as the bakery or is that different? Different. Okay. So tell me about the Cafe Miller. Well, I, well, I, can, I can start saying that at first it's, in, it's a culinary arts program. Yeah. What kinds of things did you guys make for the Cafe Miller? We made um, bean and cheese burritos, which uh-huh. are like big. Yes. Yeah. We also made um, Chinese Caesar salad. Ooh, that sounds good. With chicken inside. It was uh-huh. good. Was it fun working with the food? <clears throat> yes. Okay. And then you guys <clears throat> sold those, the things that you made to the other students that were at Miller, but sometimes you sell them to businesses as well, right? Catering, yes. Yeah, catering. So if you guys are in Los Angeles and you want something catered, you can have the folks at Miller do a really good job and make some really fabulous things. And there's other things too. I know you guys have like a cookie platter or is that the bakery that does that? Mm. Somebody makes scones too. I know that there's a scone tray that you guys do that's really fabulous. The bakery. The bakery does that. Okay. So after you did Cafe Miller, what did you move on to then? My fourth year... Uh, I took building services, the off-campus one. Okay. So what do you do in building <clears throat> services? Well, we go off, well, we go off campus for three hours a day. Mm-hmm. We go up to elementary school. We, 
and we we call them we ask for their plant manager and we ask him or her what she needs what he or she needs done okay so what would be like an example of something that you might do on a day at the at because it's at an elementary school do you are you guys like changing light bulbs are you fixing a door what's an example of something you did well what i did is where we um picked up leaves okay and that's a really helpful thing because leaves will gather and clog drains. And then when we get a rain, everything floods and it's important. You have to do something with the leaves. Uh, anything else besides leaf management? Yeah, we, we go to two youth institutes, uh, Powell's by Miller and Chime in Woodland Hills. We, uh. we provide them with mopping, sweeping, be picking up dust. And we use also, we, and also clean up the dust with a dust mop as well okay. and also spraying. This would not be my favorite job. What, did you like the cleaning? Uh, I, I don't love to clean. Did you like it? I did. It was okay. Okay. All right. Because some people do and other people don't. So after you did that, now are we up to this year or did you do something after you did plant the plant management? Oh, okay. After my fourth year, we go into my fifth year. I was okay. a senior. Okay. So that was last year, right? Yeah. Okay. And what did you do as a senior? A senior, I was selected to be off campus for, for the whole year in a program called the Senior Extern Program at West Valley Occupation Center through Miller. Okay. So this means you're out doing internships, right? Yeah. Okay. So where did you work? I worked at Smart and Final on uh -huh. Mason and Devonshire in Chatsworth. Fabulous. And did you like that? I did. And uh, and did you just intern there? Or did you intern other places as well? Um, just there. I only had one job. Okay. <clears throat> so now you're 21, about to be 22. So this is your last semester at Miller. And what are you getting to do this final semester? I'm finally getting to be in the retail program. Okay. What do you do in the retail program? Well... We go off campus five days a week. Uh -huh. Mondays and Wednesdays, we go to Walgreens on Devonshire and, and Reseda in Northridge. Okay, and what do you do at Walgreens? Stalking, facing, fronting, checking expiration dates, and yeah, and, that, and those sorts of stuff. So <clears throat> one of the great things about this is that you've got a variety of different skills at this point, and you've had an opportunity to see what you like and what you don't like. But even with all of those things that you did, Anthony, there were probably some programs that you didn't get to try. Is there anything that off the top of your head that you can think of programs that you didn't get to try that, uh, that you want to share with our viewers and let them know what's available at Miller? What else was there? Because well, it's like a ranch program, right? That's the farming program. Farming program. Okay. And what else is there? Uh, we have a Pays Lab, room one. Oh, right. <clears throat> right. In, that was a pretty cool room. I'm in the, I'm finally in that class because I didn't get to try it during my years at Miller. And, and can you explain <clears throat> to folks, because I saw this room and it, I was really fascinated by it. What do you do in this, this lab? Well, I can tell you though. Each, each time we go in, uh, we do hands-on jobs, 264, with five basic categories. Yeah. I actually have them right here. Okay, talk to us. So for the five basic categories we have are business slash marketing, consumer service, construction slash industrial, processing and production, and computer slash technology. Okay, <laughs> so which one are you working on right now? The, the one I'm actually working right now, well, I rotate every time I go inside. Okay, between those five. So uh, I think I interrupted you. What did you want to say from the other paper? Oh, we we also have a textiles program. Textiles program. Okay, and so that was one that you didn't get to try, but it's a pretty cool one. Tell them what the textiles program is. I can do my best. The textiles programs they, they use they use a whole variety of equipment like looms, sewing machine. Yeah, that's all I know. I, you know, I thought it was fascinating when I saw it. They there there were some people who were weaving. There were some people who were using knitting machines. There were some people who were sewing, and they were making different products. There was a purse, a very boho purse that somebody was making that was lovely. Somebody had a shawl that they were making, and I was saying, "Where do you sell this stuff? I want to go to the store uh, that sells this." And they were saying that they have a 
um, a boutique or something like that once or twice a year and that people are invited to it to be able to buy things? Do you know about that? Well, as far as I know, that the textiles programs, they have four major sales a year. Oh, okay. How do I get on the list, Anthony, to be invited to the sale? Is somebody keeping a list that they only invite certain people, or do I have to know somebody to know when it's happening? <clears throat> well, to me, in my opinion, the best I can say is to know somebody and call the school and okay. ask if it's okay with them so you can, so you can, if you can go to the sale. I'm telling you guys, this stuff was really <clears throat> good quality, wonderful stuff. And then it seems like, now you said you mentioned on the, the PAYS program that there was the marketing, but there is also a marketing... Uh, program because you're wearing a t-shirt that was actually done at Miller, right? Yeah. What's the thing on your on on the side, the design? This right here is actually a Miller Mustang because we are the Miller Mustangs, the interns. I love that. I love that. <clears throat> so if your company wants to get t-shirts done and you want to do it a little bit less expensively and more important, you want to put your money where your mouth is in supporting these young people to be job ready, order them from Miller uh, or another career and transition place and you'll know that you're giving kids an opportunity to learn how to do that in real life. And I'm trying to think what else. There's an eBay program, right? Where you sell things on eBay? Yeah. Um, and so if you have stuff that you want to donate that's laying around at home, you can donate it. And then the students sell those products and the money goes back into the program to be able to buy supplies and things. It's all really clever. So I'm, I'm guessing that you really enjoyed your time at Miller. Is that a, an accurate? Uh, did you really have a good time? Yeah. And what do you think your favorite thing was at Miller? <clears throat> um, the auto detailing program, like I mentioned, yeah. and um, playing on the intramural sports program we have. Uh, what sports did you play? We, I, I played soccer, uh -huh. kickball, JV basketball, because I didn't make it to varsity, uh -huh. and also the last, and hockey. Fabulous. And I'm wondering, though, it seems like all of the students that I've met that went to Miller, um, are like a tight knit group of friends that it seems like everybody, you know, gets along and everybody's having a good time. And, and in fact, the way I heard that you wanted to be on the show was somebody was at a party that you were at with a bunch of other Miller students and got into a conversation and, and called me up and said, you got to have this young man on the show. He's a fireball. And, he, and he's, you know, really excited. And, and I was like, yeah, let's get him on the show. So do you do things outside of school with the friends that you met at Miller? Yeah. And, like, you know, do you guys go to movies? Do you, like, go play miniature golf and other, you know, what do you guys do when you get together? We go to the, we go to the movies, yeah. the Pacific theaters. Uh-huh. The, yeah, and we, all, and we, we go out to eat in, in our, close to our homes. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, and some of your friends just graduated uh, from Miller. Is it harder being at school without them or have you made new friends? Mm. Like, do you miss seeing, because Luke Rose, who's been on the show before, he just graduated and he's a friend of yours. So do you miss him not being there or you're okay with it? I'm okay. Okay. But you're about to leave. Yeah, uh, this is, the, you know, you get to finish this semester because you were telling me your birthday is this fall. Yes. When's your birthday? November 7th. All right. I'm going to say happy birthday early because I you. may not be around you on that day. But um, then what happens, Anthony? What are you going to do after Miller? We don't know yet what I'm going to do after Miller, but I'm hoping to get into West Valley Occupational Center. Okay. Because I would like to take more career classes to be be, to be more independent. Okay. And ultimately, you want a job, right? Yeah. I mean, isn't that what it's all about? Everybody everybody wants a job. And you've already shown through all of these things that you did at Miller, you're a good employee, right? Yeah. You take pride in your work. You know how to finish something. And you have more job skills than most people your age, right? <laughs> I mean, you know how to do all of these different things. So when you go to look for a job, what, what do you dream about? What, what's your dream job? Smart and Final in Chatsworth. That's where you'd like to work. Yeah. Do they know that you would like, because you were interning there, do they know that you'd like a, a job to be there? Have you told them? Have you applied for a job? 
Yeah, I applied for the yeah, I I applied for the job. And you were there as an intern so that they know you're good, but they have they have had you in for an interview at all or talked to you about a job? No. Well, I think that's uh, remiss on their part, and I hope that they relook at that uh, because you already showed them what a good employee you are. What advice, Anthony, do you have for students that aren't done with high school yet and maybe are a little nervous about what comes after high school? What would you say to them about your time at Miller? Well, the times, the time I had, I, I don't know. Do you think, like when you were in high school, did you know that you were going to go to Miller? Yeah. And were you excited about it or were you a little bit nervous? I was a little bit nervous. Yeah. And the friend that I have that just started at Miller, I have to be honest, she was a little bit nervous about it. So, um, but how long did it take you to realize that it was a really good place and that you were going to have a good time? It took me quite a while. Yeah. Would you say it took you a year to get used to it? And it took, I would say it took me about a few months. Okay. All right. And how long did it take you to make friends? Uh... Most of the year. Yeah. Because that takes a little bit longer. It does. But now, now you know it's a great place, right? Yep. And, I w and I wish that uh, people watching who have some nerves about it, that they're a little bit nervous about going, would realize that it can be a place where you learn and you grow and you make friends. And it helps you to be ready. Now, uh, when... Uh, when you're done in January, so well, are you done in December? Right? December, yeah. yeah. Uh, you get to stay the semester of the, until you're 22. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, are you gonna? Is your plan to stay living at home? Is that what you want to do, or eventually do you want to live someplace else other than at home? Right now, I'm still gonna be living at home, but maybe in the future, I would like to move out. Yeah. Well, and that's all good, you know? A lot of people stay living at home uh, for, for a period of time until they feel ready to leave home. And some people don't ever want to live any place but home. But eventually, you think you might like that. And do you think you'd want to live on your own, or do you want to live with a group of people, like a group of friends? What do you think? Do you think, and how much time do you think about that? You think about that at all, about what that would be like? Sometimes. Yeah? The way I think about it, personally, is I think about it when, I, when I'm in private somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And so do you think about living together with a group of friends? A roommate. A roommate, one roommate, I like that. And would you have a pet? Uh, no. No, you're not into pets? No, because I have, it's a lot of work. It'll be a lot of work. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. And you have to really like pets for it to be worth it. I have a dog and, and she's a lot of work, but she's worth it, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so, I, you know, I think that these are great goals that you've got, Anthony, and I really hope that they all come true for you. And I hope that Smart and Final wisens up and hires you because you did such a good job for them as an intern. Uh, so I hope that that works out for you. Anything else that you wanted to share with us? <clears throat> well, Miller in general. Yeah. Talk to us. Tell us what you want to <clears throat> tell us. Well, I, I would like to I would like to share about Miller. The it has as it has eighteen work programs. They we were supposed to have two more this year. Really? I heard, but unfortunately, they're not there. Okay. Well, maybe maybe coming soon. You guys just got a new principal. Yeah. And a new vice principal too. And do you like them? Oh yeah, they're nice. I we we think even that uh, your vice principal might even be watching. She said really nice things about you and was really thrilled that you were going to be on the show. Uh, and so what else did you want to tell us about Miller? Well, some programs that were not mentioned to you, because okay. I, uh, Job Skill Center, we have a Job Skill Center program, which is the shredding one. Yeah, in, in that program, we, we shred papers into industrial shredders. They're big, and, all, and we, do, we, we do staple removing from little packets, sometimes big packets. And I, in, the, in that program, I see them use Legos to build some sculptures. They're, they're so little. And I, I was in that room, too, and they, they have all kinds of different model-making things that they can do. It's kind of a fascinating room. Uh, but these are all skills that 
we need in the world. You know, I, people at some point need to shred their papers with all the security issues. You know, these are these are real jobs that are real important. That it's great to know how to do them. What else did we leave off of our list? Uh, we some of the some programs were not mentioned. I mentioned job skills. Right. Uh, we we also have a clerical service program okay. which is focused on office skills okay like they, for instance they type in data entry on the computer very cool they shred as well and they take and they take calls very with, cool. with their with black telephones they have <laughs> right. uh, I don't I don't know personally about it much because I've never been in but I've seen some of the jobs and so did you get to put in a preference thing and say, these are the, the, the jobs that I'd like to the programs that I'd like to participate in or did somebody pick those for you? Um, neither actually. Okay. Be how do they pick who, who does, how do they pick who does landscaping and who does job skills? Well, personally, what I can tell you the best is, um, that we have some staff in our office that does placing for interns okay. to be put into the work programs at Miller. Okay. And so do you feel like they did a good job of putting you in the right programs for you? Yeah. I love that. Was there any program that you just were like, oh man, I hope I get that and you didn't get it? Um, not that I know of. Okay. Uh, and I love that you love the auto detailing. I think that that's awesome. That shows that you like detail oriented stuff because that takes patience. Don't you think? Uh, yes. The patience only on the waxing, on uh -huh. using the orbital buffer because that, that takes a lot of skill. I'll bet. I'll bet it does. <clears throat> what other programs have we left out? I don't feel like we got to 18. What am I missing? Um, I'm, uh, the cat, we have, we have a program through Miller called Cats Program. And what's that? Uh, first, they're, they're located at Pierce College, which okay. is over here, and Mission College in Silmar. Okay. And they, do, they do similar stuff like we do at Miller. They learn, they learn work skills, and they, and they take public transportation to work. Okay. When you said cat, I thought you meant like meow cat, like an animal cat. What does cat stand for? Center you know? Advanced Transition Skills. Okay. All right. I totally was picturing like a veterinary kind of thing where they, and I was like, why just cats and not dogs? So I'm glad we clarified that. What else? Cats program. It's really fun. I've never been in it. I have some friends who are in it. Uh, okay. We, we, have, we, we, have, we have a PE department. Okay. Uh, and that's, is that all part of the intramural sports? Yeah. Okay. And so you guys do soccer and what else? We do, so we, I mentioned soccer, kickball, basketball, softball, volleyball, and, and all, I like hockey and hockey like I mentioned. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. What else are we missing? <clears throat> yeah, I felt the same way. We didn't, we, there was not all the 18 work programs were so mentioned. So what, and I, and I keep interrupting you. So what else did we miss? That's a good question. Give me a minute to think. Yeah, I can absolutely give you a minute to think. I'm just looking at what a parent wrote in. Um, we we have we have another building services program, but it's on campus. Okay. Most of the time, the group is on campus. Sometimes one group goes off and one stays. So really, when you think about it, at the at the facility at Miller, a lot of the maintenance and things that are happening there, you guys are cooking the meals for everybody so that they can buy something at the Cafe Miller. You guys take care of the, the plant management, taking care of maintaining the facility. You guys have the landscaping. You're probably taking care of your own landscaping at the, the facility. There's the farming program. Isn't There's an organic gardening. Uh, they were building that when I was there touring that day. Have they started that now where you guys are growing your own vegetables in that courtyard? Oh, I don't know anything about that because when you came, I was still off campus. Okay. But I think now they're growing, they're growing their own vegetables. You guys are like a city onto yourself. It's kind of amazing how it all works together. And, and, and has, there's such a good vibe when you're on campus. Do you feel like that too? It feels like everybody's having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, I, I, I didn't keep track. What, what other ones? Have we missed anything? Later on, we're going to kick ourselves and say, oh no, we forgot this program. What else can you think of, Anthony? Did we get them all? Um, let's let me think. We used to have a "You Buy It, We Build It" program. Ooh, what's that? Oh, they build like technology. Well, personally, what I in the yearbook I saw them build like you know guitars and a bunch of other stuff. That's what's that? I don't know. That's all. That's all I know. Guitars and other stuff. 
but so that program maybe may may not be happening right now. What were the two that they were saying they were going to start in the fall? Oh, I don't know. I, okay. I didn't. No one said anything about it to me. Okay. What do you wish they'd start doing? Is what? there a program that you wish would happen at Miller that hasn't happened yet, or a job that you'd like to know more about how to do? Not really. Not really. Because I'm so used to the 18 work programs. And 18 is a lot. Let's be honest. And it covers a whole range of things. At some point, you're going to do something that you're interested in, no matter what your interests are. Anthony, I just think that you're a remarkable young man and you're doing great things. And I I can't wait. Uh, I hope that soon you're able to tell me that you've got a job someplace. And I'm going to come and, and be a customer wherever it is that you have a job. I promise. So you tell me where you're working and I'm going to come and be a customer and see you working. Thanks. Because that's what needs to happen. So if somebody's watching and they see this wonderful young man uh, and think, i, I got to have him on my workforce there he is. He's about to be done at Miller and he can start working. You could, you, do you want to work full time or you want to start part time? Full time. Full time. There it is, folks. Uh, your newest job candidate. Thank you so much for coming in on your day off because uh, he did not have classes today, so he was willing to come in today. And we so appreciate you making the trek over here and being with us. I think you're a very inspirational to a lot of parents and to a lot of young people out there who are thinking that they don't, uh, you know, that there's nothing for them to do. There's lots to do, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for, for being with us, okay? Yes. All right. I, wanna, and, I would like to say something to our viewers. Okay, say something to them. Hello, viewers. This is me, Anthony Vasquez. I'm one of the Miller interns there. Uh, just, wanna, just wanted to tell you, our services at Miller are open to the public, so you are welcome to come. If you have any questions, um, you can call Miller, area code 818-85-1646. Um, but if you decide you want to go see the school in person, I can give you the address. Um, 8218 Van Nolden Avenue, Reseda, California, 91335. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. You're great on camera, too, Anthony. Uh, I'm telling you, it's too bad that they don't have a TV production program at Miller. I think you would have done really well. We do have a theater arts and set designs program. That's right. I remember that. I saw them. They were uh, building sets. Uh, and, and they can build sets for other people, too. Yeah. It, it's the drama program. I love that. Thank I you. absolutely love that. Thank you so much for being with us, Anthony. You're welcome. You're Shannon. a remarkable young man.